All right, fellas. Y'all, y'all is back on that hot seat, and uh, we finna tell it like it is. So yeah, oh yeah, we definitely gonna get into this one, y'all. But first, intro. Yo, what is good, guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another. Uh, review vidya yeah um it's gonna be a review because i have heard this one before via my man jackson pierce's live stream and then of course most most recently during alpha tyler's uh gaming stream when uh we had a little look in on gatsby's uh live stream and uh yeah now look so far I like the last song, you know what I'm saying? I really like that, lo that yeah, last song. I can't remember if it was called Standing Still or Stand Still. It was something like that. My bad for not remembering the uh, title correctly. Um, but anyway, I really like the way that one was, was put together, although that one did have its flaws. Overall, I thought that that was a solid song. This one, however, and we're going to get into it. We're we, we going to listen to this in real time. There were some things that I noticed about this one. There were some things that some other people noticed about this one that I'm also going to address that I do agree with. And, uh, yeah, like I said, we will be touching on all those things. So let's go ahead and jump right into this by liking the hit here. Go. Roll this blunt, light it up. Before we get into Tyler's verse, a few things we need to address. First off, the beat, which was produced by produced by Tech Riffs. I like the beat. I like the styling of it. I just wish the bass on it was a little bit was just a little bit uh, harder hitting, if you will, uh, for lack of a better term. I wish it, the, the the bass and the beat. Well, I wish the bass had a little bit more oomph to give the beat a bit more presence to it. I know Tyler had to do some adjustments. He had to, you know, work some magic with his mixing um, to try to get, you know, some oomph in, out of that beat. Um, the hook, not a huge fan of. I don't like that hook. Simple. Sorry, not sorry, my guy, but you're not a vocalist. Um, you sound bored on this hook. Let's let's be real. If you guys were to make a live action music video where you're actually doing things in the video, I can picture simple being like this. Roll it up. Da, da. You, you sound bored. You look and you sound bored. I'm not feeling chill, relaxed vibes. I know this is supposed to be like a 420 style. You're talking about getting high and stuff. I love 420 songs. You know what I'm saying? And I know y'all love 420 songs. Hell, we all love love Twisted. We all know what kind of 420 songs Twisted can put out. I'm a Bone Thugs fan. I know what kind of 420 songs Bone Thugs can put out. This is not up on that level. And I don't mean to compare, but I mean, in the long lines of uh, some 420 anthems, this would, between Bone Thugs, Twisted, and this one, this probably would be one of the very few I would not revisit because again that hook it just takes me out of it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into Tyler's verse. Oh, black it's been a hell of a day. I just want to relax. So oh my bad. This is simple kicking things off. I'm rolling up a blunt and I'm going to kick back. Throwing up my feet breaking out a fat sack of a little thing of like a smoke. It's a type of shit I like to mow my lawn for Laying in the grass looking for my soul When I find it I'm distracted by an Adam's four doll Need to pass the Trying to gain control Man, where the fuck did I just wake up? Smoking with the homie and anxiety just jumped Something magic this way comes Now I need four roses not to choke this club Window just shot at me with a ray gun Almost positive I'm living on the dang sun Really need the brown burn filling up my bank cup Homie finally shouted at me Wake the fuck up! Alright, so I like how Tyler and Simple worked off of each other. You know what I mean? And I feel like this is where Simple was utilized the best. Simple is a rapper. He's an MC. We all know this. And he raps very well. That's where he is. He would be best utilized um, in as far as his track is concerned. Keep him, you know, as the MC. You know what I mean? Keep him in spots where he is best at. If you want to do the vocal stuff, 
work on that stuff first and then come back to it. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, this hook, I'm sorry, but this hook ain't it, man. It's just, it's not doing it for me. Anyway. Oh, this blonde, light it up, take a puff, and that's it, yo. Oh, this stuff is dank as fuck, what's it called? Excuse me, dog, could you pass me the blonde? I'll take a huge cheap puff and a magic gun. I got a new lease on Look, we got Nampy in here with this brand new hairdo and everything, you know. <laughs> Shout out to the homie Nampy. And we're going to finish his verse because um, I got some things to address as far as how my man was utilized in this track. Anyway, let's, let's finish his verse first and then we'll get into it. This little habit of love, I'm in a blue knees on the way I'm traveling up in the skyline, stepping on a my top, be a little wave, think it's about to be high top, be five, don't forget the both for I'm fucking making box, I don't care about a joke though. I'm a giant in my mind, but my height's a little low down, fire up a light and let's time begin to slow down, higher than a kite with a smile when I blow clouds, I could be a trainer with how actively a smoke pals. Call me Owen Wilson, chillin' with the homies and we smoke up real shit okay. What's that feeling? What you cast in? My head's filled with some dark like magic Like magic, acid, rolling it up, fantastic as it's curing the rut I need to sleep, get a hit of that, think I'ma get a sack We on a smoker track, kicking back with the black magic Acid, rolling it up, fantastic as it's curing the rut I need to sleep, get a hit of that, think I'ma get a sack We on a smoker track, kicking back with the black magic Alright, so Nampy's verse I do like, and I like that Tyler shared a verse with Nampy as well. Um, I thought the the uh, mesh up between um, Tyler and Simple in the first verse, very well done. You know, def they definitely work off each other well. Tyler also works off well with Nampy. I thought the two of them mesh well too in that last verse. Here's where I'm really disappointed though. Um, actually, you know what? We're already at the end of the video. Let me let this last let me let the song finish out and then we'll get into all the things. Oh, this blonde, light it up, take a puff. Oh, yeah. this stuff is dank as fuck. What's it called? Magic. Alright guys, so that was Alpha Tyler and Simple with Black Magic. My bad for not mentioning the song title in the beginning. <laughs> um, and it features, of course, our boy Nempe. Beat was produced by Tech Riffs. And this is off of their EP, which was named Stone Sober, which is... Whoops. Oh. Coming off of their EP called Stone Sober, which releases on 420, which is not that far from now. Actually, it's about a month from now. Um... Now, let's get the negatives out of the way first, and then we'll end things off with the positives. With, with the positives. Negatives. The hook. Not feeling that hook. And this will be a perfect segue to go into my next point, which is how Nampy and Simple were utilized here. Nampy's the vocalist. Why didn't you have him do the hook? I get it that this is, you know... Tyler and Simple's song, so at the end of the day, it's ultimately up to them as to where they want everyone to be. I get that. You know what I'm saying? It's your art at the end of the day, and I respect the fact that y'all stand by your decision on all that. Um, I'm saying that because I know I'm going to get some contrarian comments, and that's fine. It's all good. You know what I mean? Music is subjective at the end of the day, and we all have, and we're all entitled to our opinions at the end of the day, so it's all the way gravy train. Nappy is the vocalist, though. I would have put Nampy on the hook. If you want Nampy to spit a verse, fine. Have him do a verse. And then um, I would keep Simple, you know, rapping. I'm sorry. Simple's not a vocalist. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm a vocalist. I'm not saying I'm a better singer or anything by any means. I know I'm not the greatest singer. Hell, I barely even know how to rap. Um, I'm not, I won't deny that. But I just feel like between Simple and Nampy, these guys, they weren't used to their fullest potential. They weren't used in the best of places. I feel like this song was not as well structured as, uh, oh, here it is, um, as Standstill. And uh, Gatsby, when he played it, he noticed a QC issue with um, the vocal mix. 
he said the vocal mix was was not the greatest and tyler did admit that he tried to do some things he tried to experiment with some things uh, when it came to the vocal mixing my guy if you got a system that ain't broken don't try to fix it then at least not on this ep that you're you know coming out the gate with you know what i'm saying if you have a method that works fine that works perfectly well i would stick to that for just this ep and then experiment with the next ep album or whatever it is that you guys you know plan on releasing um i just don't think it's wise and it pains me to say this because as y'all know we, we all watch tyler every thursday you know what i'm saying on atrl which like I said, it comes on every Thursday night, and y'all best best be tuning in every Thursday night on the Alpha Tyler channel. I'm just saying, link is in the description down below. <clears throat> and I and, and you hear Tyler gives his, give his tips and advice to all these new artists that he gets introduced to, um, even artists that you know he's more familiar with. We all hear how he critiques and the things that he points out, the things that he listens for. My guy, when I hear you talk and then I hear this, I feel like it's not the, it, it's not lining up. You know what I'm saying? With the quality of music you're bringing out versus the advice that you give other people, it's not quite lining up. Brody, I love you. You know this. And I'm only telling you this because I love you. If I if I just tell you whatever you put out is fire, is dope, I would be doing you a disservice and I'd be lying to myself. And I know you critique me hard because you want me to put out the best quality music that I can possibly put out. Doing the same for you. Because with you, I'm most disappointed with. Pains me to say that because I feel like you know better than this, my guy. You know better than this. I, you've mixed songs that, that I featured you on. You know what I'm saying? Far better than this. So, I don't know. I mean, you tell me, my guy, what's what's going on? Because I feel like you could you could have done so much better with the production. The mixing with the beat, I thought was solid. The mixing with the vocals, though, I just feel like there, it, there's a bit of um, disjointment, if you will, for lack of a better term. I just don't feel like they're really meshing well together between the vocals and the instrumental. I just feel like the like the vocals, as far as production quality, is doing its own thing. The the beat production wise is doing its own thing. It's just not meshing very well. You know what I mean? So I agree with with, with that, Gatsby. The the vocal mix can definitely be better. Um, that beat could have been done better as well. It needed more 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 bass. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying fucking super woofer level of bass but i mean it could have used more bass to give it more presence um because it it sounded like it sounded like somebody cracked cranked the uh, the uh, trouble up more than the bass i'm just saying um but yeah i want to say i love the song and for the most part i do love the song but i would love it even more though if the production was there and and if the vocals and the beat were, were meshing better together but i just don't feel like it is you know what i mean and y'all know me I, yes alpha and simple they are the homies but like i said i would be doing them a, a great a great disservice if i don't keep it a buck with them you know what i'm saying if i'm not straight up and on, being honest with them being real with them you know what i'm saying i want I want these dudes to put out the best stuff that i know they can especially with how passionate they are about music you know what i mean we like i said we hear them talk all the time about music and everything how much they love music how much they pass i want to i want to feel that shit i want to feel it especially with the stuff that you guys are coming out with i want to feel it i want i want to i want to hear you guys not just talk the talk but walk the walk this could have been better nappy could have been utilized better Simple could have been utilized better. So yeah, so far, like I said, I, I feel like Standstill is a better song. But even that song, again, it has its faults. You know what I'm saying? It has its flaws. You know what I mean? Let's let's just be real about it. You guys can say I'm being harsh. You can call me an asshole, whatever the hell. 
I'm sorry. I don't gaslight people on here. I treat every artist equally, and that includes my homies too. And if that makes me a dick, that makes me an asshole, so be it. But um, I'm not going to sit up here and lie and be like, oh, yeah, it's fire, man. It's perfect. It's flawless. No, it's not what I do. And I'm not going to, you know, sit up here and bash these guys either or tear it apart. But I mean, even though that's clearly what it sounds like I just did. But I mean, yo, if you're going to hold me, someone like me to a standard, and if you're going to hold other artists to, to a standard, make sure, make sure you are holding yourselves to that same standard. Because you know what they say about those with a glass house. I'm just saying, like my song says in the hook, man, you better make sure you're perfect before you go and you try to start shit, you talk your shit, because you can't. Because if you're not, then you can't tell nobody nothing from your glass house. I'm just saying. I love you guys. I expect better from you guys. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go. You want to talk about how serious you're taking this shit? Prove it. Prove it. I'm saying. Step it up. Let's go. Anyways, y'all. Pretty much all I got to say. Y'all know the deal. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. If you're feeling the vibes here, don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the description down below. that will be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, till the next one, y'all have a blessed one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Badger. I'm one half of the next video. I'm going to say what's up, JV. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, you're sad, if you're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. Because I know you're on the time. So be ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!